welcome to our beachy life today's video is going to be very interesting as many of you have been looking for this updated video of cost of living which i've made back in time if you haven't watched the first part of cost of living in cayman islands then i would strongly advise you to watch that video now from the link above and then return to this video but if you are one of those who have recently got their job or are planning to relocate to cayman islands all the best for your move and i know sometimes it gets really disappointing when you see your salary and when you see a website like these you just feel so frustrated that what money is enough so to break it down in real sense i'll take you to a journey where we can discuss all these items in respect of 2023 so let's break it down what you're about to earn and how much you're going to spend as you must have seen on these websites the data is very mixed depending on your lifestyle but before that let's touch base few basics of the cayman islands no no no, i'm not going to take you through the language and climate and all those things today we are going to discuss the finances so let's see how the economy works the economy of cayman island is mainly fueled by the tourism sector and the financial service sector total representing 70 to 80 percent of the country's gross domestic product which is your gdp caymanians who are the locals of the country enjoy one of the highest standards in the caribbean region money the currency is cayman dollar which has its fixed exchange rate to us dollars all major credit cards are accepted in hotels restaurants shops except amex tax tax in cayman islands is based on the current personal income tax rate of zero percent as there is currently no personal income tax However, you see taxes already being implied in terms of some duties, which you see in commodities, but not in your income tax. Inflation, 9.2% as of September 2022. As you are already aware, the cost of living in Cayman Islands is higher compared to many countries in the world. But as of January 2023 and February, while I'm recording this video, it has significantly gone up. If I talk about clothing alone, the cost is very high for items such as business, casual, children's clothing, footwear, wedding wear, etc. In terms of communication, the call rates are still the same, but the internet charges have gone up. What you're seeing now is my bill from the past. And this is my most recent build. So you can actually compare in what less time the services have gone up. The prices have been increased by the service provider and it's across all carriers. It's not limited to just one service provider. Again, there's not a lot that you can do. Furniture and appliances. Cost is very high for items such as dining table and chairs, home entertainment, kitchen appliances and sofas. This is mainly because the import duties are really high and there are very less options to choose from in terms of competition. For example, in US, you have different stores, you have Amazon. Because of the competitive nature of the market, you tend to get a lot of deals, offers and promotions. Also, you can wait for a seasonal sale and then you can take advantage of it. But in Cayman, because there are very limited players and the cost incurred by them is also very high so there's no point they can sell you at the same price which you would get in the us on the top of that you are paying more than what the actual cost is so in terms of furniture since you're coming here for the first time i'm assuming you're coming here for the first time so it's always advisable to go for a house or a rental property which already has the basic furniture at least or fully furnished it totally depends on your pocket size and what's available in the offer but buying furniture is a total different thing and you really don't need to do it unless you're very choosy about it education now before i start talking about education i want to convey this to a lot of subscribers who have been messaging me on my instagram and in comment section to discuss about education system and to make a elaborated video about the fees and admission and what are the schools public schools private schools so honestly i don't have a lot of information about it for obvious reasons but if you really want i can talk to someone and ask if they can appear in the video and i can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with all the questions that you have it could be a q a video where a parent can actually explain about the schooling system in cayman islands it's not just about the fees, it's about the overall structure, the environment, the distance, the timings. We can have a detailed video on that. So if you want that, please let me know in the comment section. Coming back to the topic, average international private school would charge US dollar 21,184 for primary school and US dollar 23,575 for a high school. Now the next one is the only place where you can save a lot 
it only depends on your spending habits and what you really need i'm talking about groceries and believe me on this i can tell you from my experience since india has stopped exporting wheat the cost of ashirwad atta 20 pound right now when i'm recording this video is 31 dollars cayman dollars which is insane it never used to be this high talking of groceries if you really want me to make a detailed video of products which are available in the cayman market and just to show you all around with prices let me know in the comments and i can plan a video to a grocery store where we can capture all the data that you need healthcare cost is high for a general doctor visit inpatient treatment prescribed medicines and your medical insurance average cost for uninsured patient to a doctor visit would cost you around 50 dollars inpatient treatment i hope you never have to do that but if you are admitted to a hospital and you're uninsured the private hospital stay including medication diagnosis hospital rent medication nursing would cost you a whooping $1,800 Cayman dollars per day. Overall, I would say healthcare facilities are good. However, the cost of treatment can be high. As they say, health is wealth. It's really crucial to have a good insurance plan. If your employer gives you an opportunity to choose, always go for the best insurance plan because that's for your betterment. Household accommodation. Now, this is something which is only going up and seems like it's not gonna come down anytime soon. Apartment rents, house rents, property purchase, mortgage rates and utilities, it's just going up. And the worst part is the inventory in the good areas is being limited or it's just being sold out or rented out. So if you're ready to move to Cayman Islands, make your contacts, try to be associated with as many reliable people as you can so that your house search journey gets easier when you come here and you are already aware of the areas where you want to move. Be familiar with the area where your office is. Use Google Maps, for instance, to see the proximity of your office and where you can find a reasonable house. To give you a rough comparison, a one-bedroom apartment in Georgetown area used to be around 1200 to 1300 but it's now $1,800 a month. Personal care. Cost of cosmetics, hair products, professional products are really high in Cayman Islands. Also, it's quite difficult to find if you are very particular about your brand, the product of the brand. So you need to do some deep research. You always have the leverage to order things from Amazon, but be mindful that it's not really quick. To give you an example, average men haircut would cost you around 30 to $50, while a woman's hair color that includes haircut, dry blowing, medium length would cost around 130 Cayman dollars. Restaurants, meal out and hotels. Now this is something which I would say has not significantly increased in comparison to other things. Obviously there have been revisions in the menu of fast food options like Burger King to a fine dining, but that kind of increase is not really impactful unless you totally depend on outside food. The next topic is recreation. If I talk about cinema, the prices are not bad at all. As you can see, these are the movies which are listed. And if you look at the standard tickets for an adult, it's $25.5 and for children, it's $22. And I know recreation is not just about entertainment. So if you're focused on your fitness goals and if you want to go for a club membership, then also you have a lot of options to choose from, especially if you're focused on a sport, like if you want to play golf, there are different things that you can do that are not very expensive. Well, now let's talk about something really important, which is transportation. If you have watched my previous videos, I've already touched base this topic and I've concluded that at some point you would need your own car. You can't just rely on carpooling with whether your flatmate or your neighbor or your colleague and the public transport is also not very reliable. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but yes, at some point you would need your car. But that's something which totally depends on your affordability. Most of the newcomers rely on pre-owned vehicles. So the prices are decided by the owners of the vehicle and it's not an industry standard. Yes, there are options to buy a car, brand new car out of showroom. I don't see a lot of people doing that, especially when they just arrived to the island. So again, it would not be fair for me to comment whether the prices of cars has gone high, considering if you're looking for open market. And it totally depends on your negotiation skills, how you can break down the price, offer price. Also, it depends on the condition of the car. Most of the pre-owners are flexible, but some of them are really selling it on the offered price. So it totally depends on what you come across. 
while what i can actually compare is the fuel prices so these are the fuel prices currently in cayman islands as of today in georgetown area you see a gallon of fuel for 5.59 cayman dollars well this is really high if i compare this with today's current prices in the states it's actually 3.42 dollars which is us dollars and that's the national average. If I talk about Florida alone, it's $3.33. So this is something which is very expensive. But you can bring it down by looking for an apartment which is very close to your office. Again, it totally depends on you how you want to control your fuel expenses. So with this, let's wrap up this video. Cost of living 2023 explained. If you have any doubts or any queries or any suggestions, please drop it in the comment section. If you are a returning viewer, and have not subscribed to this channel then kindly do it now if you're a new viewer who have just found us the same goes to you please subscribe to our channel hit the like button and stay tuned for the next video